The next thing we have to do when editing or creating our own data is that we have to toggle this data set from being read-only to read-write. And we do that by having it selected and clicking on the little pencil. You can also right-click on it, the layer, and say toggle editing. So now it's in edit mode. And you can see that once you put it in edit mode, you get access to these different properties here. If it was a line or point layer, the symbols will be a bit different, but still it will be the same. So we have an add feature and a move feature. So we have used our um, toggled, uh, used the pencil to toggle the edit mode. So we are in edit mode. We can see that there's a pencil and the layers. And we can then go up and use the create feature layer. I'll just zoom in on the inner board here, the Royal Family's boat. Hmm. Like that. And I'll use my great feature. And I will. I don't know if, it, if the. Uh, I don't think we have that as being part of the boat. So what you notice is that I'm just like, it's just like having a rubber band following the mouse. I'm just clicking as I go along and it creates this semi-transparent red layer that is locked into place each time I click my mouse. Like that, to, to finish I right click or option click in the map and it will then ask me, so this was ID1 if I just name code Denable. Denable. It doesn't have any cannons. It might have machine guns and security things like that, but I don't think there are any cannons on board. And it probably has a displacement of, let's say, six meters point two. Like that. So we have entered our data and we can say okay and it's now finished it and you can say oh dear I was a bit slobbish here I need to go in and modify it. If you choose this node tool you can see that we can now go in and we can grab the red indicators out of the nodes and we can click once to indicate that this is the one I want to edit. And now I can move the individual nodes. So I think this one should be there instead. So I can do small additions. I can also, if I wish, I can add a new one. So I can add a new node there. So I, if I needed a new node, I don't really need it, but just for the fun of it, I can double click here. And it will give me a new node that I can then drag in. So I can create new nodes or move existing nodes using the node editing. So that was one chip. And then we have the scrap here. Um, so I'll create a feature. And uh, just click along again. And right click to indicate I'm finished. And say this was number two. And let's go. And it has, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six cannons. Uh, and it's probably a displacement of 10.3 meters. Oh. Oh dear. I haven't so it's I have to say nine point six. I hadn't apparently given enough room to 
tight 10.3 so it'll be 9.6 meters so again here you can see oh dear I absolutely need to go in and add a new node there so I can have that bit better representation here change that move that one a bit uh, so I have now created my ship um, what well, we typically don't have on ships is that we have holes and things like that but if you look at the, how this is done if I create a new feature I can go in and draw an arrow let's call it 3 and in my edit here I have the possibilities of adding a ring or add a part okay. so if I add a ring that it becomes a hole okay so if you want to make a lake with an island in it you first create the lake by using the add feature finish the feature go up in your edit menu and say add ring and then you can draw the inner hole if you wish the lake the island in the lake and when you finish that that becomes a hole uh, similar to using rings we can add extra parts so we have a municipality consisting of multiple uh, islands the approach is to go and first create one object finish this one as being 5 ensure that it's selected uh, like this so it's now a selected object oh, like that. and I can then go up under my edit and use add part and then create a new island and that automatically becomes selected so I'm and you see it's not asking for attributes because all of these I'm drawing are part of the original first one so we now have a one object consisting of five different small islands so we have those two important things under the edit menu we have add ring which we use to create holes and we have add part that we use to uh, um, add elements and then we have delete ring and delete part also to, um, getting rid of them again if um, you've made some mistakes you want to get rid of you select them see these islands in here I don't want them so I just use my delete select them do it or I select them and press my backspace on my Windows computer. So that's basically all what's to uh, doing the digitization or creating your own data. I have now created, uh, maybe I should get rid of these, doesn't look nice. Um, so um, I've now created two yachts. If we look in our attribute table, uh, open attribute table, you'll see that we have Danibault and Peter Scott as the two yachts I have created here. To save the data, we have these double pencils here, and we can do save, selected of all layers if you have been working in more than one layer. So we just save, save, select layers, and we can now toggle out of editing. So we have saved our data and we have stopped editing. So that's basically what is into creating data in. Curious.